Now with our Meals in Minutes, Jesse James Decker, the country music star and entrepreneur, is now a cookbook author. The book is called Just Feed Me, Simply Delicious Recipes, From My Heart to Your Plate. Jesse is joining us now from her home in Nashville. Jesse, good morning to you. It's great to have you, and I understand you have three morning, young, adorable kids there at home. I think I can see some of them in the shot there. How has your family, first of all, been handling this quarantine? You know, we're handling it as well as I think any family can. We're spending a lot of time together, which has been great, but sometimes it's a little hard to have that one-on-one -on -one time with your husband when you got three youngins hanging around, but you know, we're, we're doing our best. Yeah, and you have three little ones too. Okay, we're ready to dig in. I've already started eating this cauliflower potato salad. It's your twist on your mother's recipe. Yes. What is your time-saving hack? Yep. So I've got a couple tips that I just feel like will make things a little easier. I'm a mom on the go, and sometimes I don't have a lot of time to be whipping up a full-on meal for an hour. So my little tip is to boil your eggs and your potatoes all together in the same pot of water, and then you add your cauliflower. So it's super quick, super easy, um, and also it kind of sneaks in an extra vegetable for your kids that they don't know about. Which is always clever. It's good for adults, too, and you only have to clean one pot. That sounds brilliant. Um, what are some healthy swaps oh, yeah. that you can use when you make this dish? So, as you can see, we've got the, the eggs and we've got the, the potatoes, and I'm going to toss in this cauliflower. But another little tip and trick you can do is use light mayo. This obviously cuts the calories. I mean, half of them, I think less than half. Um, but there's so many sneaky things that you can do, you know, when you're a mom and you're in your kitchen and you're whipping things up. Um, but I want life to be as easy as possible, especially when you're running around and we're as busy as we are these days, um, throwing everything in one pot and getting your light mayo. You know, little sneaky things you can do here and there. You also but this are... is the finished product oh, right over here. It's absolutely delicious. This is something my mom made for me growing up and I added the cauliflower. And uh, it's absolutely delicious, and we like to serve it warm instead of cold. I know that sounds kind of different and a little crazy, but I think it tastes so much better at room temperature. I can confirm that it is totally really delicious. Really good. Um, so next, you've, you've got a special pizza that you guys like to make. Tell us about that. Yeah, so we make non-bread pizzas. I'm going to come over here. So I'm going to throw my non-bread on the stove, and we're going to grill it. I already have it grilled over here. Um, and you're going to take it. I love non bread. I think it is absolutely delicious. And we're going to bring it over here. And I've got this one. We're going to toss this here. And what I love about this non bread pizza is it's something you can do with the kids. It's super easy. It's really fun. I like to put all the little accoutrements in little bowls. And uh, you can build the pizza together with your kids. I love having pizza parties, family gatherings. It's so much fun. And it makes things really easy rather than having to make homemade dough or just getting the frozen pizza dough from um, the store. I just think this tastes so much better. This is also something we did in my family growing up. So I'm building the pizza, getting lots of good cheese on there, just like that. And then you're gonna take your pepperoni. I'm gonna toss this on top here. And then what we would do is pop this right back onto the stove and you let it cook for a while. But I'll show you the finished product over here. So this is the finished product once it's all done. I'll dress it with some arugula, finish it off with some shaved cheese, a little salt and pepper. Jesse, and we've and got, just so you know, we've honey. got some finished product right here on the table go. in front of us. It looks great, Yum. smells great, tastes great. Thank you so much uh, for your good. tips this morning. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> really appreciate it. Thanks so much. Jesse's cookbook, Just Feed Thank Me, you. is available on Tuesday, and you can get all these recipes on our website as well, goodmorningamerica.com. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.